This week on Sound Off, nostalgia reigns as Vietnam-era veterans turn back the clock to the 1940s and perform a Hollywood canteen-style musical salute to the patriotic songs that helped win the war. Don't you tell me not to care. Don't you tell me not to care. That's my brother over there. That's my brother over there. That's my sister over there. That's my sister over there. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. For him all home. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. Thank you for tuning in to Sound Off. It hardly seems possible that 50 years have gone by since Irving Berlin's hit song, This is the Army, Mr. Jones was first played on the radio. In fact, so many patriotic songs were written and recorded during World War II that we now refer to them affectionately as the songs that helped win the war. On this special entertainment edition of Sound Off, we invite you to join four talented Vietnam-era veterans as they perform a Hollywood canteen-style musical salute to the music of the 1940s. And now, let's go to the stage of Patriotic Hall in downtown Los Angeles and the music of Reveille. Take a trip back in history to the days Before they had TV and reminisce a bit About the good old days of Farville Remember when they did three a day and twice a week There was a matinee, the greatest show of all Back in the days of old was Farville They called it married 25 years today and I'm still in love with the same woman. Why, that's wonderful. Yeah, and if my wife finds out, she'll kill me. <laughs> I'm a West Pointer. You look more like an Irish setter to me. <laughs> Tell me, do you have a criminal attorney in this town? Well, I, I believe so, but, um, but what? We ain't been able to prove it yet. <laughs> Why, I'm struck dumb. Oh, don't be silly, stupid. You were born that way. <laughs> Say, I thought the doctor told you never to have more than one drink a day. That's right. But you're downing your third. Just following doctor's orders. This one's for October 6, 2001. Good evening, Tiana. Hi. My, you look lovely this Thank evening. You. Haven't seen you in years. What's new? Well, since the last time I saw you, I lost 182 pounds of ugly, stupid fat. Good Lord, how? I got a divorce. <laughs> Before I came to Hollywood, I thought money was the greatest thing in the world. Do you still feel that way? Well, certainly not. There's jewelry, gold, real estate, and community property. <laughs> Tiana, I understand that you have never kissed a sailor goodnight. That's right. Before he leaves me, it's always morning. <laughs> I've been asked to be married many times. Oh, yeah? By whom? Mother and father. Tiana, will you do me a favor and dance with me tonight? Certainly. You don't think I came here just for pleasure, do you? Yes, yesterday, I bought my son a $69 Halloween costume to scare his friends. And he asked me if he should leave the price tag on, and I said, certainly, let's scare your father, too. <laughs> My wife always wanted to be a nudist, but one thing stopped her. Why? She has too much extra material in her birthday suit. You know, it's very confusing to be an American these days. The Star Spangled Banner tells us that this is the land of the free. It's the IRS that tells us it isn't. They called it 
Mr. Green, we like our barracks nice and clean. You had a house made to clean your floor, but she won't help. 
help you out anymore. Do what the bugler commands. He's in the army and not in a band. This is the army, Mr. Brown. You and your baby went to town. She had you worried, but this is war, and she won't worry you anymore. Do what the bugler commands. He's in the army and not in a band. This is the army, Mr. Brown. You and your baby went to town. She had you worried, but this And she won't worry you anymore, more, more. No, she won't worry you anymore. The army, this, the army, that is all you've heard from where you sat. So how about a cheer for the Navy? The army's great, the army's tough, but don't you think we've heard enough? So how about a cheer for the Navy? I know that Mr. Stinson is solid as a rock, but how about an orchid for Secretary Knox? The army's always in the groove, but don't you think Walter Winchell won't approve unless you give a cheer for the Navy? Hip, hip, hooray, I haven't got long to stay, so how about one bouquet for the Navy? One word of praise, let it flow from your lips. One word of praise and I'll go back to my ship. Hip, hip, hooray, the army has had its say, but we're letting them get away with the gravy. One word of praise, let it flow from your lips. It'll never be a hit without the Navy. what we men prefer. But in the social register is where you have to look for the Navy. He's happy to be touching gills of Astors and the Vanderbilts. So how about a cheer for the Navy? This Sip. is Finale. It's Navy white and blue. The Army sails across the bow. The Navy always brings them home. So how about a cheer for the Navy? Hip hooray, he hasn't got long to stay. I have no one bouquet for the Navy. One word of praise, let it flow from your lips. One cheer and then he'll go back to his ship. Hip, hip hooray, the army has had its say. But we're letting him get away with the gravy. Let him know it's an army show. But it's just not a hit without the Navy. Just let him know it's an army show. Guys, if you will give a big loud cheer for the Navy, I will give you my own personally autographed copy of Favorite Cholesterol Free Recipes of Military Women. Huh? But guys, it's the swimsuit calendar edition. <laughs> ah. Could never be a hit without the Navy. <laughs> Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. And be better off than you are. Or would you rather be... A chicken. A chicken? Yeah. Well, Tiana, it's a mule. No, I think it's a chicken. Oh, well, regardless of what it is, if you remember these songs from the 1940s, please feel free to sing along with us. Hudson crawls in on a river all end of brawl of brawl of suet. Hudson crawls in on a river all end of brawl of suet. Hudson crawls in on a river all end of brawl of brawl of suet. Hudson crawls in on a river all end of brawl of suet. Crawson is a Swedish town. Is a string. Cross is a boy and girl. And the suet is their dream. There's Zito 
doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Yeah. There's a doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Now if the words sound queer and funny to your ear, a little bit jumble and divey. Sing mares eat oats, and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. Who remembers this kabibble? That's good because it was made famous by Kay Kaiser. Down in the midi in an itty bitty poo fam, fee itty fitty and a mama fitty too. Fim fed a mama fitty, fim a poo fam, and they fam and they fam all over the dam. A boop boop did them dad em want em. Boop boop did em dad em want em. Boop boop did em dad em want em. Choo! And they fam and they fam all over the dam. Top fed a mama fitty or us. But the bee itty bitty didn't ought to be us. The bee itty bitty and up on a pui and they fam and they fam right out to the bee. A boop boop did em dad em want em. Choo! A boop boop did em dad em want em. Choo! A boop boop did em dad em want em. Ah, choo! Still high. The 1940s were more than the fun and merriment of those songs. There was a very beautiful love songs written also. The most popular of these was performed by three patriotic sisters who went by the names of... Hi, I'm Patty. I'm Maxie. I'm Laverne. <laughs> I'll be with you in apple blossom time. Blossom time. What will you do? I'll be with you to change your name to mine. When, when will that be? Church bells will chime. You will be mine in apple, in apple blossom time. Never know just how much I love you. You'll never know just how much I care. And if I try, I still couldn't hide my love for you. You ought to know, cause haven't I told you so? I speak your name in my every prayer. If there is some other way to prove that I love you, I swear I don't know how. You'll never know if you don't know. Two, two have cats named Tiny Bradshaw and Bobby Platter decided to put the state of New Jersey into the songbooks with a tune called The Jersey Bounce. They call it the Jersey Bounce, a rhythm that really counts. The temperature always mounts. Wherever they play, the funny rhythm they play, they started on Journal Square. Somebody heard it there, he put it right on the air. Now you hear it everywhere, uptown, 
gave it new licks downtown added some tricks no town makes it sound the same as where it came from so if you don't feel so hot come on to that jersey spot and whether you're half or not the jersey bounce will make you swing Our director, Mr. Alan Fawcett. And next, the lovely Tiana Bentley. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gene Kowalski. 